Hey folks, welcome back to West Virginia Cryptids and Strange Encounters. Uh, today I'm just, oh, not too far from my home. Uh, I'm in the local wildlife management, yeah, sorry about that. Local wildlife management area. Uh, I haven't really had any um, Bigfoot reports come from here. But further up in the hollow, there's been a couple people say they've possibly experienced Bigfoot activity. Uh, mainly, um, like some odd noises. Um, one gentleman was walking when he was younger to the bus stop. And something that was paralleling, parallel, I can't talk today. Paralleling, walking beside him in the woods. Uh, he said he experienced that a couple times. Uh, but yeah, there, in that and uh, one other time in that same area, there was a possible howl herd. But I've never had any full-blown reports come from this area. However, it's been raining here for several days. And this is kind of like the only area that I could get out around, in around my home. It's not private, or yeah, it's not private property. It's a state, state land, and uh, there's a big lake up here. I know there's a road that goes all the way, clear to the back corner of it, and I don't know, that's probably, that's probably a good mile back in there. So I'm just out hiking and going to see if I can see any kind of tracks or anything like that. Just out for, for a daily stroll, basically. So I wanted to bring you all along. We should be coming up on the lake here. It's not too far up here. And here's the uh, Corps of Engineers plaque. This is the dam here. I fished up here a few times. And, uh, oh, many years ago, probably 30 years ago, I'd say, I worked for a company that actually trimmed power lines, for out for power lines. And I actually, I don't know if you can see it, there's a high line right here. And a smaller power line. I actually trimmed this right away. But I know this lake sometimes gets down pretty low and it has some mud flats on it. So I'm gonna kind of check those out if it if it is. And right now it doesn't look like it, so it's pretty full. the lake well as I was walking up on the lake there I seen some I had to turn the camera off there because I seen some folks coming um, I don't want to record some folks if they uh, you know they don't want to be on camera without you know asking well they didn't really want to be on camera so but they were here with their their biggles I guess trying to train them for coons coon dog and I asked them about tracks out there here, see if they had seen anything. They see just some coyote and turkey tracks. And uh, they've never heard anything about any kind of Bigfoot activity here. So it is what it is. And I'll, uh, I'll continue to walk around the lake here. You can see it's behind me. Well, actually, it's on, on my left-hand side, really. And uh, this is one of the fingers of it. It's a small inlet here. But the uh, the road wraps all the way around. It's way back up in there. I'd say it's probably, it's at least a mile or a little over just to get to the, the, the uh, 
end of it up there. So uh, I'm just gonna keep walking and check some stuff out. Well, came upon my first tracks. Not Bigfoot, but uh, definitely turkey. Let's see what's up here in this mud hole. At one time you could drive all this and then uh, I have another turkey track right there. Several of them. But the, uh, it was actually coal company property and then the company surrendered it or gave it up to the state for wildlife management area. And I don't understand why the uh, state actually closed it from traffic because this is actually a county road to be honest to, to be truthful it actually goes way over to another road on the other side of the, the hill here but they closed it down all right well give you guys a few it's actually a nice cool day today a little bit humid because of the impending rain. I think it's only like 65 degrees. It feels great. Pretty steep banks here. Well, I'm going to continue to walk. And if I find anything, I'll let you guys know. Well, I haven't found anything yet, but... I'm walking along and I started hearing this banging noise from well you can't see it. I don't have the camera switch around. Oh, what do you got here? Hang on. That's a big old dog track, big old canine track. But I started hearing this banging noise. Let me turn around. Way up there. Can you hear it? At first I was like, oh, oh, what is that? And I realized it sounds like metal banging together. And I do know, as far back here as I am, I think I'm probably just right on the other side of the ridge from a, uh, like a uh, well pad that they uh, have one over, oh, about another quarter mile, half mile down the road. And you, you take another road and it goes up, up to Hollow, so, or up one of the ravines there. So I'm saying that's probably just something from it, some workers or something. I don't hear any voices or machinery, I just hear banging. And it's definitely a metallic sound. But uh, yeah. No signs of any Bigfoot yet. Or anything else other than turkey and a couple of well, the people that probably just walked through here. I've seen several of their prints and their dog's prints, but that one back here was a pretty big canine print. Alright, you can see way back down there is the dam when we first come in. We're making like a, a bend in the, in the creek here or the lake here and it'll go up straight back toward the lake and then it turns hard right and goes back to the tailwaters yeah see i hear now i hear beeping i hear machinery now so it's got to be up there in that weld site
some deer tracks. There's boot prints there, probably from the folks who are just up here. It's definitely thick. I mean, the underbrush is thick. Oh. I think something interesting. I don't know if any you all could see it through here. If you can see that slight orange color, there's sand trails. It's an edible mushroom. That's cool. Put it up here. See, can you, see if we can get a better view right here. I know the camera's not picking them up very well, but right there. And so far, I saw, I've seen some uh, wild berries. I've seen some elderberries. I've seen some hickory nut trees. And now some mushrooms. So, there's definitely a food source here, plus the lake. For, for something to live this, in this area. All right, if I see anything else, I'll be back. You know, this is something I forgot about. I forgot about the, the this little cemetery here. pretty cool I found one years ago way like where that uh, power line goes up over the hill I found one over there that had had not been taken care of for years and years and years when I was up here just hiking around and I completely forgot about this one I mean at least they try to keep it mowed some of it I just find that kind of horrible that you know even family members or somebody can't come up here and well I guess now that it's closed it's kind of hard hard for a family member to come up here and take care of it that's a long way to walk to carry any kind of mowing equipment Field. But here you can see here, I'll take it back this way. You can see where I was just at the dam. Maybe you can. There's the road way over there, and it meanders way back up around here and then back up this way. Got a couple more people coming in. Then we'll take a little break here at this gravel pile and get something to drink. Here's something that's really cool about these, about the gravel here. Uh, we got a lot of limestone here in West Virginia and one of the biggest ones is Greer limestone. But I always like going to these gravel piles or in the driveways that has good limestone. And uh, you can find these little, it's a fossil. I mean, this is a partial one, but it's um, kind of like a seashell. That's what I call them. I, I don't know what they would be, the proper names would be. Uh, if anybody knows, please let me know. But may, most of the time they just look like seashells. And I would just sit down. There was one right here. My uh, youngest son and I go to an area where there's some big, big pieces of limestone. These are just smaller stuff here, but it's along a, an old trail. And we find all kinds of those, those shells. This is another little cool thing that I like to do.
this little bit ago I was talking about you know some of the wild berries that I've seen which down that way were elderberries these bushes here are blackberries uh, some places call them something else most of the most of them are gone now they're already it's getting past the season but uh, you can still see some remnants there a little bit here and uh, right here there are actually a few good ones I can hear some of them are, aren't even ripe yet that's because they're in the shade they really do well when it's shaded they get a lot bigger in the shade these aren't very big but you're walking through and find them they're definitely a good little snack sometimes they're sweeter those are pretty tart that's that's the way i like them i like them when they're sour You can hear the pump down there <clears throat> for the uh, lake. Yeah, there's nothing on this one. Now, this one, I know it's hard to see, but that bush there. Let's see if there's another one closer. This one. All the berries are gone off it. <clears throat> Most of them by the looks of it. I believe that one is. But uh, they're called autumn olives. They're like this little red berry. Uh, they don't taste real great. But uh, a lot of people make jams and jellies out of them. It takes a bunch of them, I guess. I've never, never done it. But I have tried the berries a couple of times. There you go. Good view of the lake and the pump. It's starting to rain now. They might not, those might not be all models. That one back here on the bank was, but these other ones I don't, I don't, I don't think they are. All right, we're gonna start. Let me see here. I'm looking. Thought I saw something. Nope. We're gonna continue to hike down through here, or I'm gonna continue to hike down through here. And uh, hopefully, we got some areas where we can look for some prints. Well, <clears throat> I found an area where it could be some possible prints if there if anything walked through, and I kind of got excited. I could see from a distance, from about right here. I know the camera's not picking it up well. I could see some impressions. And I walk up here, and my excitement went away. It's just uh, some boot prints. And somebody was walking. I don't know if y'all can hear the rain. But luckily I'm under tree canopy. It's a beautiful place up, up this way. Beautiful area. And I've been seeing a lot of these. I don't know if you can see them. There's some kind of mushroom. There's quite a few of them up there. Uh, if anybody knows what those are. And what's weird is each time I see them, I see these uh, game trails. This is a this is a deer game trail here. And right along that game trail, I find these mushrooms. I don't know what they are. I, I know I know a few mushrooms, like chanterelles. 
uh, puff balls and uh, morels and stuff like that. I've never really gotten into them. I have a big book to study them. Just never got into it too much. Uh, but I, I don't. I don't like mushrooms. I don't eat them. Yeah. I never. Uh, never studied much into them. But I do have a book now that I'm trying to study up on them. I don't know. I just, it's just not a big interest to me. And I probably should because, you know, I never know. I might have to eat some of them when I'm out here. Well, I, uh, do want to, I'll just take this time here for a minute while I'm looking around to thank everybody for coming to the channel. Oh, there's the St. Trails. Look at there. I do know what those are. Those are, yeah, I do know what those are. But again, I'll start again. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming to the channel. Uh, I know it's sometimes it's a long time before I get a video out, but it's sometimes it's hard to get out and to do things. But I do appreciate everybody that stops by, uh, shows their support. And uh, if you haven't sub subscribed, please do so. Uh, I would appreciate it. Well, let's walk on out through here, see what I find. Well, folks, I haven't found Bigfoot, but I did find another giant of the woods. Check this out. Look at that huge maple. I'm telling you, just by looking through the screen here, this camera is not doing it justice. That thing is massive. Massive. That's a massive tree. Let's get a shot of it from this angle. That's an old one. And the other trees around here, you know, typically, typically. You know, that there's a good 60, 70 foot tree right there and probably 15, 15 inches across right there. A little bigger at the bottom. But this thing is massive. Wow. It's awesome to see. And I'm still finding chanterelles. There's, I've done passed up two or three other bunches and I can see more right over there. Right under the, the brush over there. You can see that orange. Somebody was a mushroom picker. They be in high heaven here. Bunch of them up there too. All the way up through there. I don't know about that. about fell down on that tree. There's one crossing the road right here. Too busy looking. Look at the mushrooms that fell over it. I'm very amazed by that tree there. It's awesome. I just want to stop here and show you this view. It's I know it's raining and but man is it gorgeous. Look at that. That is so pretty. And again, I'm looking at sea mushrooms right here in front of me. But uh, yeah, I wanted to just wanted to come out today. Rain or no rain, it's just a cool day. I don't mind the rain. Uh, we don't have any, no storms or anything. Just just a nice rain. And just hike around. Get out here in the woods. Look to see what I can find. 
Bigfoot or not. Just just have a good time. Reset reset that that mine. Very peaceful. Very peaceful. Ooh. This looks like a bunch of wild mint right here. Kind of distracted again, sorry. I got distracted. All this grown here in the middle looks like a lot of it looks like wild mint. But I'm getting close to the the tailwaters of the lake. And I don't think I can go any further because I think I, it goes on the private property. Because I think the property is right here beside me. This private property. I haven't seen any signs. But there's a there's a fence. Okay. And, well, what's left of an old fence. So I'm not sure if that's private property or not. But it's been a good day. And uh, I want to thank you all for coming and watching the video. Although I didn't find anything. Like I said, it's always fun. And I won't bore you guys with the, uh, the hike back. Unless I actually, actually find or see something. So, y'all have a good day. And it's on to the next adventure. <laughs>